What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's the glitch guy and I'm bringing you a video on how to mod Pokemon Go. You're going to get your own little mod menu as you see right here, right in the left hand side of the screen. Now, it may seem like a simple mod menu, but in reality it's probably the most useful thing you can get in the game right now. You can set your house and walk over to popular locations and rack up all the Pokestops just by sitting in bed or sitting in your couch. You can be lazy again and use this app. <laughs> Anyways, so this this tutorial, um, this mod is going to work for iOS devices only. Sorry, Android users, you always get last access to this sort of thing. Um, so, anyways, what you're going to need is a Mac operating system, as you see here. We just transitioned into the desktop portion of things. Um, if you're not running Mac and you have a Windows computer with an iOS device, well, do exactly as I'm doing. As I zoom out here, I will show you that I'm running a VM virtual machine with the Mac operating system. If you have no idea how to do that, I will post a video link in the description, a tutorial on how to set up a virtual machine so you can get this working. Anyways, you're going to need four things, four things for your Mac. One, Xcode. It's a four gigabyte download, so I highly recommend you start now. Once we go over everything else, maybe it'll be down by then. All right, three other things you're going to need. First, you're going to need iOS App Signer. Again, all these links will be in the description. This will allow you to sign for your IPA and you can download that. Next, you're going to need Jill Pokemon Go Anywhere dot zip. Click the download button, get the files, you're good to go. The third thing you're going to need is an IPA file, a Pokemon Go IPA file from iPhoneCake.com. Um, I've heard reports the third link works. That's the link that I'm using for this video. So. I'm sure you guys can determine how to download the file there. Anyways, once you have all your items here, there's my Pokemon Go. In fact, I'm going to make a copy of it just because I need to make sure I have everything backed up in case anything goes wrong. You should do the same. The long ass download. So you have these four items, Xcode, Pokemon Go, Jailbroken Pokemon, iOS, App Signer. First thing you want to do is take that Pokemon Go IPA. Rename that sucker. Name it to Pokemon Go.IPA. You have to name it that way because that's how the code runs and it has to be written that way. Next, what you're going to do, create a new Xcode project. Oh, it sounds like someone banging stuff downstairs. Create that new Xcode project. Make it a master detail application. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Pokemon Go Glitch Guy. Yep. Organization name, you can name it whatever you want. Organization identifier, same thing. Make sure you have that com before it. You want to leave that there. And um, yeah, we'll click next. Now you can go ahead and create that. Put it on your desktop. It's really easy to access. And boom, there we are. Now you're going to be presented with this. You're going to have a little issue here. Identity. Well, what do we do? We need to fix that issue. Reset. Let's do that. Okay. So for you guys, what will most likely happen is it will prompt you for an Apple ID sign in. You're going to go ahead and sign into Apple ID and then it's going to bring up this menu right here. From here, what you want to go ahead and do is click on view details. And in here, signing identities, you going to want to make sure that iOS development is created. Now, I I heard this report, I don't know how reliable it is that if you have any certificates on your login in your keychain access, you want to delete them before you do this. So that's what I did here. I only have this certificate because we just created it, which is right there. But if you have any certificates from previous work, you're going to want to delete them. So there we go. But we're not done yet. What we need to do from here is we're going to change the deployment target to 9.2. You don't have to do this. It's recommended that you do. Um, I've read reports that some people who change it to 9.2, it works. I've heard reports that people who leave it at 9.3 works. However, I recommend doing 9.2 because that what's worked. That's really what worked for me. Um, so that looks all good. Looks beautiful. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, Xcode preferences, we're going to click view details again, and that provisioning profile that we had before. Well, we're going to want to show it in Finder. So there it is right there. That's a provisioning profile that we created. There's other stuff in there. Might be, might not be. It depends on your device. Those are other provisioning profiles that I've created for past Xcode projects. However, that provisioning profile there, the one that's selected, the one that you choose, 
you're going to need that for later. So the next thing we're going to open up is terminal. Terminal is a command prompt based type thing. It's actually bash if you want to get real specific into it. Um, there's a set of commands that you have to run and I'm going to tell you each of them. I'm going to walk you through it. The first one, you're going to type in CD and you're going to take your jail Pokemon Go anywhere. But before you do that, take that Pokemon Go IPA file, quickly drop it into that folder. There we go. Now that jail Pokemon Go anywhere, drag and drop it right onto here. Make sure there's a space between that and CD. Click enter. All right. So now that you CD'd inside of that file, uh, that folder, essentially you can now ex execute um, bash commands and, and bash files from that folder. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to type in chmod plus x patch app sh bash and you're going to type in op tool just like that. How it's written in the in the description is exactly how it should be written here. Go ahead and click enter. Last thing you're going to enter, ooh, we're going to do a period backslash patch app sh space patch space Pokemon Go, the exact same spelling and capitalization as I told you guys before when you rename the file. And then you're going to go do this. You're going to grab your provisioning profiles finder window. You're going to take that item and you're going to drag and drop it right there. Click enter. So now what it's doing is essentially it is taking files from the jailed Pokemon anywhere and it's installing that mod menu onto your IPA so that you can navigate around the world simply sitting in your pajamas at home. Return the laziness to the element here on Pokemon Go. That's what we're trying to do. Um, so it's repacking the IPA now. It should take about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how excited it's feeling at any time. Okay, so it wrote the Pokemon Go stash patched right there. Nope, right there, I lied, right there. And we're gonna do one more thing before we drag and drop it onto our device. So iOS App Signer here. We need to open that up and we need to input a file. Well, guess what? That file is going to be that file. The one we just created, Pokemon Go patch.ipa. Open that sucker up. Make sure that signing certificate is you. Make sure that you select the provisioning profile right here. Pokemon Go .gg or whatever it happens to be that you set it to. And create a display name. I like to name mine Pokemon Glitch. Just because you know I'm the glitch guy, even though this is a mod. And we hit start. Let's put it on the desktop so we can see it when it's done. Full form. And while that's doing its thing, we'll go back to Xcode. We'll click on Window. We'll click on Devices. And you'll select your device. Mine happens to be 9.3.2 iPhone. And when that file is created, when it's on the desktop, Pokemon Go patch.ipa. You can go ahead, open that sucker up, and install it directly onto your phone. Now we're gonna move over to the phones because there's one last thing that we have to do. So you thought you were done, but you're not actually done. <laughs> because you, when you go to M open up your app, it presents you with an untrusted developer notification. And you go, well, what the hell does that mean? Well, here's how we fix that. In your settings here, you're gonna click on general. You're going to scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, and you're going to click on the Developer app with your Apple ID email. You're going to click Trust, Trust, and boom, just like that, you can now open up Pokemon Go. Right now, it's loading up for the very first time. This is technically considered a brand new, fresh install of Pokemon Go, so you'd have to log into the account that you use in order to make this work. So, for instance, I have a Glitch Guy account, I have the original Pokemon Go app right on the main screen here, as you can see, and I have the Pokemon glitched version right here. You can use two separate logins. However, I haven't experimented with two different or more than two different profiles. What we're going to do is we're going to allow it to use the location there. We can go ahead and let's just say 1998 would make us over 18. And that's our date of birth. Cool. So. I'm going to jump ahead and we're going to show you some of the functions. Okay, so here is my profile and look at that, a bell sprout just spawned in. So here's my freshly created profile and oh, there's my Yeti microphone there. Go ahead and catch that bell sprout. 
you have three items over to the left here. Speed, tap to walk, and patrol. And these three items are what the mod menu gives you, what I had showed you earlier in the video, what's beautiful about this game. So I'm using a secondary profile right now, and I'm gonna show you by just simply sitting in my seat, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm not moving at all, sitting at my house. I'm gonna show you, you can turn on the tap to walk feature, and wherever you tap, your character will walk in that direction. So you have to hold it. I recommend you can turn up the speed to two, and it'll make you go a little bit faster, a little bit more reasonable, and you can walk in whatever direction you need to go in. You hold your finger down and turn in the directions that you'd like it to go, and your character will walk that direction. As you saw earlier, I was sitting at my desk when I caught that bell sprout, so I haven't moved at all. But on this, it appears as though I'm moving. So there's also another feature in here. We'll turn off tap to walk and we'll turn on patrol. Patrol is a beautiful, beautiful way of essentially making sure that you incubate your eggs. And I'm gonna say that in simple terms because everybody knows that when you wanna go to incubate the eggs, you need to walk certain distances. Well, when you turn on patrol, patrol will do that for you. It will walk in circles, walk in figure eight shapes, walk in random patterns. It will continuously walk to rack up the distances that you need to get to incubate your eggs. There's the mod menu for you. That's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any confusions or any questions, send them my way. I will happily help you out. And that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching. If you have any troubles or any questions or concerns, I will answer them all for you in the comments section below. Thank you, and this is The Glitch Guy, signing out.